coming up in Mizzerktastic. anytime hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home perfect for families and classrooms hi my friend today we are going to be diving in on sports in art it's true now there are lots of different kinds of sports from swimming to horseback riding to skiing snowshoeing there is golf there is football baseball soccer and football or maybe you call soccer football as well, and that's true too. And then you might call American football, football, or football that's in America, in America, American football. Anyways, that can get confusing sometimes. There's also basketball and baseball. What I'm saying is that there are a variety of different sports and they are very fun and people love to either play them, watch them, or both. Oh, I forgot a really popular one, hockey. All you Canadians out there, Hockey's our dream team, dream sport, isn't it? Now, if you love sports, make sure that you hit the like button so we can see how many people really are sports fans. Let's take a look at different types of sports. This is pickleball. There's also competitive swimming. There is skiing. There is basketball, baseball, there is soccer or football. And then there is football that is American football. So it is different. So we're gonna head on over to the art studio where we are going to create a cartoon baseball bat and baseball. And then we're going to make a football, an American football artwork. See you there. Let's do our baseball and baseball bat. As soon as I find my marker, oh, there it is. So grab something to draw with and something to color with. Let's start off with our bat. Big curvy line up, around and down. And then we're gonna bring it in narrower. And then we're gonna add a little curve at the bottom. And you can clean up your lines, make them bold and beautiful. And then we're gonna add a baseball. So we're gonna add a circle. Two curving lines going inward. Next, we're gonna add a face. We're gonna add two circles on the bat, one on either side, and two circles on the ball. With, two small, with a smaller circle in each one. And then I like to color in the dark of the eyes, leaving in the smaller circle white. Then we're gonna add a little mouth. I have to add a line with a U below. Curving line from one corner down to the bottom. And of course, we color in the dark of the mouth, leaving the tongue nice and white. Let's add some dashed lines around the edge. That makes it look extra awesome. Okay, let's color in our bat. I'm gonna do two different colors. I'm gonna do a light color on half and then a nice darker color on the other half to make shading so that's my light i'm gonna find my brown and then i'll add brown on this side Oh, 
All right, and then for my ball, we're gonna, well, first I'm gonna grab red, I'll color in the tongue. I'm gonna color in those curving stripes, red. And then we're gonna add red across to make the stitches. Now we can use our gray to shade. So we're now we're gonna go back over the back. We have one side with the gray or the lighter color with black. Black crayon, our color pencil. Gray along. This might be my last gray. Hmm. Really need to get more. Oh, it's right now. Around the mouth. Let's see what else do we have? Smaller. Let's try this one. Hello. And we can add some expressive lines on either side of the ball and the bat to indicate movement. And just like that, our baseball bat and baseball are done. Let's make a football artwork. Okay, let's grab a piece of paper. Let's grab our black. We're gonna draw one, two, three, four ovals. We're gonna draw a curvy line up and we're gonna connect, skip over those ovals and back down. This is American football, football, not a soccer ball. And we're gonna do a curvy line down and back around. some curving lines down. And then we're gonna add some stripes in the background. Let's paint the football brown. I'm just using temper paint, but you can use whatever paint you want. We're gonna paint our background to a rinse or brush. First, we're gonna get yellow. We're gonna paint our first stripe yellow. Kind of pick some grassy kind of colors. We're gonna do yellow and green. Actually, I know. Change my mind. Let's add a little bit of green on top and make it a yellow green. So we'll do light green, dark green, light green, dark green. Let's do that. Mix right on our paper. Yellow green, so green plus yellow is yellow green, a tertiary color. Okay, we do the same thing. And we're gonna skip one stripe and then we're gonna paint our yellow green. I'm just gonna mix it on my palette. Yellow plus green is yellow green. 
Like the stripes of a football field, yes. This is when I can fix my areas where I painted out of the lines. Okay, now I'm gonna dip my brush in just green. Oh yeah, look at that nice difference. We got green and yellow green. Both are greens, but one's lighter. Not made with white, but by applying yellow to it to make that yellow green. So it's a different way to make a light variety. We added, make a tertiary color essentially. Just like that, our football. Actually, you know what? Let's add a little black. Change my mind. Change my mind twice this time. That's okay. Okay, let's add some black along the bottom. And I'll mix it right into that brown to make a shade. So black plus a color is a shade and we'll make it more of a form. And you know what? Let's even add a little bit of white along the top to make some highlights. And now, just like that, your American football artwork is done well my friend that's it for this episode if you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel if you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone whatever device make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works as well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic kids online membership so you can make art anywhere anytime on any device using some really fun art mediums see you in the next episode